그러니까 얜 틀렸지 Oh, the end of the road greets us at last. You fared well, Watcher. Better than any Watcher has right to. Seems you were a field in need of a flame's cleansing. But with that trial's end, a new one begins. A God's trial. And I will stand in judgment without mercy. Never thought I'd see something like this in my travels. Lends a little perspective, doesn't it? Hey, cool and Sagani. 여러분은 만약 이거 할때 사관인 쓰지 마. 여우 때문에 데리고 다녔는데. Hey. All right, then. You know the bitterness of servitude, Watcher. The sting of the lash on your back, and scalding rage in your chest as you watch your masters grow fat on your toils. Oil and wine dribbling down their chins while blood runs from yours. You have labored at the pleasure of others. That shriveled hag in Hadrat House, those pompous dear wooden zealots, the wretched tribesmen playing out their fantasies of grandeur. And then you cowered and knelt before the gods themselves, begging one paltry favor and receiving riddles and visions in response. And now the gods give you orders and commands, even while you set out to fix what they cannot. Yet what have they offered you? The exiled queen is not an ungrateful patron. Finish the work Theos began. Strengthen Woodica with these souls and allow her to become the most powerful of all the gods, with you as her favored. I'm not going to do it. 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 
You say that now, but when you are standing in front of the machine, considering the lifetimes and the powers that await you, we'll see what you do. Udika 다시 돌려보내죠. 왜 없애? 돌려보내야지. 바바리 안 착해요. 바바리 안 착해. Spinning to life with deafening resonance and gathering up the swirling essence like thread on a great spindle. There, in the pale pulsing glow of the machine that set you on this path long ago, you summoned all your strength, focusing on your objective and blocking out all else. With a single concussive blast that rocked the chamber and sent you tumbling to the ground, you freed the souls from their stasis. Exhausted, your consciousness slipping away. The sight of the machine, dark and dormant. Then your eyes closed, and sleep welcomed you at long last. After coming to and searching for some time, you discovered the route Theos used to enter Sun in Shadow, and embarked on a long and arduous ascent back to the surface. You emerged in Terra Evron after days of tunneling through the rubble Theos had left behind. And when you stepped into the daylight, you were faced with a different deer wood than the one you had left. At your direction, the lost souls of the Hollowborn were funneled back into the churn of Bareth's wheel to find their way into new vessels and partake in the life they had been denied during Whiteman's legacy. Though parents of Hollowborn would remain just that, the end of Whiteman's legacy would bring about a spate of new, healthy births with many of the infants bearing souls once meant for hollow-born children. The natural cycle of life and death had been restored to Deerwood, and with it came a renewed in the providence of the gods. Though you had killed Lord Radric in his throne room, so strong was his drive to rid his land of Aethasians that he returned to life as a death guard, a deathless crusader for his brutal cause. With the remains of his humanity stripped away, Radric came to see all the people of Gilded Vale as worshippers of Aethas. And one day, he led his forces into the village personally to see them all emerge from his lands. Gilded Vale was left a hollow shell, its buildings ruined, and its people slaughtered. Even travelers and would-be squatters knew better than to take refuge inside its borders. Lord Radric returned to Radric's hold, where he remained, keeping eternal watch over his barren domain. Following the assassinations of Duke Avar Wolfgang and Lady Webb, Defiance Bay was thrown into political upheaval. In the ensuing weeks, the streets had become the domain of looters and blackbirds. Few dared to step outside their own doors alone or unarmed. But once the dozens had regrouped in the wake of the riots, they quickly put an end to the criminal activity, patrolling the streets in droves, and administering their brand of law on any perceived offenders. They also took the opportunity to depose the weakened Knights of the Crucible from their position of authority, branding them traitors to the people for their actions during the riots. Whatever Knights weren't stoned to death in front of their keep were forced into exile. The external contingent of Knights stationed at Thiefbreaker Castle would remain there, their high justice plotting the city's recapture. 
The dozens would soon find themselves overwhelmed by the problems of a leaderless metropolis, and in the days and months ahead, Defiance Bay remained on the brink of collapse. The destruction of the machine atop Terra Noaneth spelled the end of the reanimated corpses in Heritage Hill. Though at first few were willing to venture into the abandoned district, it was soon cleaned out and rebuilt. The district's horrors still fresh in people's minds, it would be some time before it was fully repopulated. But eventually the lure of cheap prime land would all but erase the memory. The Duke's assassination at the apparent hands of an Enomancer had caused catastrophic rioting in the streets of Defiance Bay. And few Enomancers survived the first day. In the weeks that followed, angry citizens, their rage stoked by word that the Duke had been about to ban the practice, formed vigilante mobs and hunted down the survivors. The sanitarium was decorated with the dismembered heads and torsos of those who had practiced the science, and anyone caught studying it thereafter was soon added to the macabre display. The age of enomancy in Deerwood had come to an abrupt halt. The rejuvenation of Cadnua was a short-lived endeavor. While the rise of a new master had presented new hopes of the keep being restored to its former glory, time proved otherwise. Plans for maintenance of the structure were postponed time and time again, until ultimately they were scrapped altogether. Their master's priorities <laughs> lying <laughs> Palagina had missed the opportunity to complete her mission from the Duke's Bells. The Deerwood's trade with Air Glanfoth remained weak, but the Valian Republics were unable to enter Glanfothan markets. For her repeated insubordination and loss of lucrative trade, Palagina was cast out of the Brotherhood of Five Sons. She traveled north of the Eastern Reach, where she tried to avoid trouble as a caravan guard. But she could not escape the strange looks and unwanted attention her appearance brought. Adair chose not to return home. Still conflicted as to his role in the Saints' War and unsure of his place in the Deerwood, he took a ship to Adir and reunited with his parents. There, he resumed the quiet lifestyle he had grown accustomed to in his years as a farmhand in Gilded Vale. When the dust settled in sun and shadow, Aloth looked upon the remains of Theos Ixarchanon, his former master. He saw where the Grand Master had gone wrong, and what would be required to undo the harm Theos had wrought. With a flick of his wrist, he burned Theos's robe, headdress, and every other symbol of the man's power. Never again, he vowed, should Kith live in fear and blind obedience to an authority they did not understand. Armed with the knowledge and courage he had gained on his journeys with the Watcher, he set out on the long and lonely task of dismantling the leaden key. After all that he had learned in the Watcher's company, Kanorua could no longer see meaning in his pursuit of the Tanvi Oratoa. He decided to leave what remained of it within the depths of the endless paths and return home. Kana bid the Watcher farewell and sailed back to Rawatai, spending the tempestuous journey reflecting on the time he had lost to the pursuit of falsehoods. His family found Kana much changed, his fiery excitement replaced with a weary Kana. solemnity. <laughs> Determined to change his wandering ways, Kana took up a quiet life as a lorekeeper at the college, teaching young students students the traditions of their people. With Theos defeated and the souls released from sun and shadow, healthy children were born once again in the Deerwood. The grieving mother sought a place where she might do penance for the birthing bell. She returned to Deerford, where, to the astonishment of the villagers, she delivered the first healthy child in over a decade. She remained there, and with each new birth, she saw a measure of hope restored to the Deerwood and a measure of grace for her own troubled past. Durance continued to blame Woodica for the atrocities of the Saints' War. Believing Magrin to have been a pawn in the machinations of the Queen that was, and feeling that Theos's expulsion had been a step towards reconciliation with his goddess, Durance tried for a time to reopen communication with her. When only silence came, he took it as a condemnation of his continued existence. Ultimately, he built a pyre and threw himself upon it, using his own shattered staff as kindling. You and Sagani never found Persok together. The Adra figurine had gone dark by the time they emerged from Sun and Shadow, 
and it was another month before Sagani finally accepted that Persak's trail had gone cold again. Her search took her beyond the Deerwood and as far as the living lands. She saw the great coastal cities of Rawatai and the ruins of Old Valia, absorbing the details of these strange and distant lands. Twenty years passed before the Adra figurine finally glowed again. When it did, she followed its signal to a quiet hamlet on the outskirts of Adir. There, she met a young farmer and told her of her past as an elder of Masuk. Sagani returned to a village that had forgotten her face, but remembered her story. Masuk greeted her with cautious warmth, and Sagani found that their ways had become strange to her. She also learned that Kalu had perished of winter fever a few years before, and her middle child, Najuo, had died in a raid. But she found her daughter Yakona a hunter and mother of three, and her son Malak a builder of mighty walls. In them, she came to find her place in the village, and the familiar contours of a world Not that a had changed in her absence. For you, the death of Theos brought an end to your waking visions, and a silence to the whispers of the past. In their absence, you were able to sleep. The questions of a distant lifetime ceased to trouble your soul. All that remained was what to make of the answer. But at the moment, there was little to be done, and the matter would have to wait. A long journey loomed ahead. <sighs> ah. 개고생했다. 여러분은 만렙을 찍고 보스랑 싸우세요. 엔딩을 좀더 좀 빨리 봐가지고 퀘스트를 몇 개를 동료캐랑 무한성 던전을 넘겼는데 다음 게임은 모르겠어요 일단은 가볍게 게임 하나 하면서 쉬면서 생각을 해야 될것 같아 게임이 내용이 되게 난해하고 좀 무거워 정말 그냥 소설 하나 읽는 그런 느낌으로 해야 돼요 근데 시나, 시나리오는 굉장히 마음에 들었어요 시나리오는 굉장히 마음에 들었어. 근데 평판 좀더 올려가지고 12인에 가서 지원했어요. 포라 유튜브? 그런 것도 올려야 돼? 